Hey, it's Jenny from Road Trip Nation, and today we're talking about jobs for people who love movies. I know what you're thinking. Is this video for everyone on Earth? Who doesn't love movies? True, but we're talking about people who live and breathe movies, who are interested in how they're made, and who want to make movies their livelihood. So if your YouTube history is stuffed with trailer recuts, scene breakdowns, and behind the scenes extras, we're talking to you. Check out these five careers aligned to the film industry. Every film creates hundreds of jobs, meaning there are endless routes you can go if you love movies. So if you wanna work in films, it's helpful to first think about your other interests and talents. If you love art, there are several routes you can take into the film industry. But for us, Becoming an animator seems like the dream job. We talked to Frozen animator Wayne Unton about how much he loves his work and how his passion for the characters in each film helps him be the best animator he can be. So I'm an animator okay. uh, at Disney Animation Studios. As an animator, we're actors in the sense that you're really crafting everything. You're designing yeah. everything. So mm -hmm. I bring the characters to life through the performances. We want to make those characters believable and feel alive. Think of a simple thing as like, you know, a character picking up something. It's like, well, how does the character pick it up? You know, is the character like maybe talking about a distant memory and are the eyes saying that as the character touches something? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like they say the illusion of life and that's what we try to bring. You put a little bit of yourself into each character. It's funny, it's like they're your children, really. Mm -hmm. it, it, it feels like that because you, you know them. You, you, Make sure that they're they're well taken care of, you know. Brush their teeth every day. Uh, yeah, I mean, you make sure that you know the performances are right. If you love bringing people together, organizing events, or helping to amplify voices and stories from others, you can bring that to the table as a film festival creator. Whether it's at your local theater or just at your house, you can get started planning a film festival anywhere, anytime. But it helps to have a central theme or vision. For Stacey Spikes, founder of Urban World Film Festival, his vision was all about amplifying the stories that weren't being told. I had gone to Sundance, and it was very odd to me that there were so few people of color in the films that we were seeing. So I went and met with the person who, at the time, was head of the festival. And I went to him and I said, there seems to be a lot of work that you guys aren't showing. And he said to me, well, if it were good, we would show it. And I said, but good according to who? I had this resentment because it was like, here's a gatekeeper who was preventing certain groups' stories from being told. It pissed me off. My whole thing was, I'm gonna make a black, Latino, Asian Sundance or Cannes Film Festival. That was kind of my mantra in my mind. If you love the storytelling aspect of movies, there are so many paths you can pursue, from writing to directing. But this lesser known option is slightly outside of the world of filmmaking. Kiana McGee works in marketing for Netflix, and her work promoting films sounds just as creative and fun as making the films themselves. I currently work here at Netflix, and I work on the creative marketing team for film. So that means all of the marketing components from your trailer, your key art posters, social media. My job is to help pull all of those components together in promoting a film. Some days I could be creating content for social media, so working really closely with some of our agencies and creative folks to come up with fun and interesting ideas and ways to promote our film. One day I could be putting a shoot together with talent. Um, it could be just a day full of meetings. Sometimes it just depends. It's kind of all over the board, but I love it. Like I love, I love seeing my work out there and I love when people get excited about things that I make and I'm really passionate about the things that I work on. If you're a more literal storyteller and love writing, then writing about movies could be a natural combination for you. A few years ago, we were lucky enough to get some advice from Peter Travers, a film critic for Rolling Stone, and maybe one of the greatest living movie critics. And his job reviewing films for a magazine might seem intimidating or out of reach. But the great thing is, these days, you can start your own Twitter account, YouTube channel, newsletter, whatever, and start talking about movies in a way that's unique to you. Because no matter what channel you choose, Peter says what's most important is your passion. 
I was never a person that thought I was going to make them, but I was always a kid who wanted to talk about them. And I didn't, my friends, they'd say, let's play stickball, and I'd say, yeah, okay, let's do that, but did you see that movie that Alfred Hitchcock did? I would take these little notebooks and cards, and I'd keep a little record of what movie I saw, and I would actually put little ratings on it. And when I read them, I was basically talking to myself. I'd go to the movies with them, and they'd go do something else, and I'd stay, and I'd watch it again. So my education in movies wasn't being a critic, except for my little strange notes that I would write to myself, but was trying to learn by getting on movie sets and doing stories. So, I mean, that takes me from um, nerdy, geekish, obnoxious kid to nerdy, geekish, obnoxious film critic of today. Of course, the ultimate storytelling movie job is to just make your own movie. We know what you're thinking. You're telling me to just make a movie? It's not that easy. Keep it together, man. We're trying to make a movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. But listen to documentarian Gary Hustwit talk about his work, and you might get inspired. Because according to him, when there's a story you want to tell, it really is that simple. I just wanted to watch a movie about graphic design and fonts, uh, just because I was just kind of a design geek and I, I couldn't find anything out there. So I'm like, there must be other people like me <laughs> thinking the same right. thing. So I just decided to make the movie. I mean, I, ha I hadn't directed a film you know, at that point. That was the first um, you know, time I'd picked up a camera, and then I was a filmmaker. There's a momentum in actually starting a project and doing it. Like a lot of times, uh, people that I know are like, yeah, I'm thinking about doing this thing. I might, I might try to do this film project or, you know, I'm thinking about it. Just do it, you know? The moment you say, I'm doing it, it changes the dynamic of everybody that is around you. They're like, oh, you're doing it? Oh, great. Oh, God, I know somebody, you know, I know somebody that can help and I can help you too, whatever. It's not like, I want to be a filmmaker. I'm like, I am a filmmaker. You know, I'm started this thing, I'm doing it. Suddenly everybody's like, oh, yeah. You know, Martha's a filmmaker now. Yeah, she's doing a, you know, it. It changes everything around you and it opens up so many possibilities. It's like willing yourself to be the thing that you really want to be, but it totally works. I love that advice. And so many people we talked to made their film industry dreams come true because they just went for it. So if one of these career paths is calling to you, take that spark of inspiration you're feeling right now and find a way to start putting it to work. What are you interested in? Every Tuesday, we put out new videos to help you explore careers aligned to the things you love. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned.